Kelsey Brianna J here with a video that I have been working on for so long. It has taken me six months to complete this video. A lot of details went into the making of this video and I hope that it helps anybody out there when trying to decide which liquid lipstick brand they want to try. In this video I'll talk about as many high-end brands as I possibly can. This video is my baby. I treasure it and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So I'm just gonna go over the format of the video and how I break it down per category. That way you guys can follow as easy as possible. So for each shade of lipstick, these are all things that I do. So firstly, I tell you the brand. I tell you where you can pick up these products. I tell you the shade that I have as well as the description of that shade. I tell you the amount of products in the tube of the liquid lipstick. And mostly I read off the description and then if I have any added opinions about the liquid lipstick, I then share that information with you. I tell you what the liquid lipstick smells like. Then I show you the type of applicator that it has. And then after giving you all of that information, I then apply the liquid lipstick on camera and I show you what it looks like when I'm applying it and then I show you what it looks like when it's dry. And then after it dries, I show you a kiss test which basically I kiss the back of my hand to see how much of the products is going to transfer from my lips to my hand. So that gives you some sort of idea of how transfer proof the liquid lipstick is in general. After I do the kiss test, I move on to my rating system. I don't know how many of you guys saw my battle of the concealers video. I did that last fall, super proud of that video. It's something very similar to that. So I made my own rating system up. Just because a liquid lipstick doesn't get a perfect score doesn't mean it's not a good liquid lipstick. It just may fall a certain way on the rating system. So just because something scores a one, that doesn't mean that's a negative trait of it. It's just that's where it scores in the rating system. So just keep that in mind. So in the different categories, our liquid lipstick can either rate a one, a two, or a three. So let me go over the categories. The first one is the formula. If a liquid lipstick gets a one, that means that the formula is very watery or runny or splotchy. If a liquid lipstick gets a two, that means that the formula is somewhat thick slash creamy. And if a liquid lipstick gets a three, that means that the formula is very thick slash mousse-like. So you see, if a liquid lipstick gets a two or a three, it doesn't necessarily mean that the formula is bad. It just may fall in one of the other categories. Pretty much if it gets a one, that does mean that I don't prefer the formula. And then I rate the liquid lipstick on the applicator. We all know that the applicator plays a big part in how the liquid lipstick applies. So if a liquid lipstick rates a one in this category, that means that the applicator is very flimsy, cheap feeling, or it's too small. If a liquid lipstick gets a two in this category, that means that it's a standard doe foot applicator. It's nothing special, it gets the job done. Now, you guys know with lips, and if the applicator gets a three, that means that it's a specialty applicator. So it's either shaped a different way, it bends a certain different way, or how it picks up and applies the products is what's gonna get it a three. The third category is pigmentation. If a liquid lipstick rates a one, that means that it is not pigmented. If it gets a two, that means it is somewhat pigmented. And if it gets a three, that means that it is very pigmented. The fourth category is dryness. If it gets a one, that means that it is extremely drying on the lips. If it gets a two, that means it is somewhat dry slash okay. And if it gets a three, that means that it is very moisturizing slash comfortable on the lips. So on average, it takes me about five to six hours to rate whether or not the liquid lipstick is something that I like or not. And then after that time, I then come back on camera at the end of the day and I finalize my rating system and I give you guys a little bit more overview of the categories and then I give it its final score. So after wearing it all day, I then come back for the wear time rating system. If a lipstick rates a one in the wear time category, that means it only wore for one to two hours on the lips before it started fading away and looking crazy. If it rated a two, that means that it wore well for two to five hours and at some point during that time frame, it started wearing away. And if it rated a three, that means it looks pretty good and it wore well for at least five to six hours strong. It's going to fade away, so I'm very realistic with it. But at the end of the day, because I come back on camera and allow you guys to see it, you can assess for yourself as well. And the last category I have is appearance. So if at the end of the day, a liquid lipstick rates a one, that means that it is very, very crumbly and it doesn't look good. If it rates a two, that means it looks okay and it's somewhat faded. If it rates a three, that means that it looks 
pretty dang on good. It wore well and I am very pleased with it. After I finish writing the liquid lipstick, I tally up the score. So I take whatever they got in each category and add up that number to get a total number. And then I divide it by the amount of categories that I have. And then that's how I get the total score number. If you guys need a little bit more help understanding it, I will have the rating system down in the bottom bar. So check there. And that way that can be a guide to help you follow along as well. Some of the colors I already had in my collection and some of the colors I didn't. Guys, just keep in mind that liquid lipsticks, depending on the color, the finish is going to be different. Enjoy this video because you guys are going to see me wearing a sweater over here and then you're going to see me wearing something super summery and that's because like I said, it took me six whole months to do this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Talk to you soon. So here's the liquid lipstick that I'm going to be trying on today. This is by the brand Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. You can pick these up at Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, and Too Faced Cosmetics.com. I have the shade Queen Bee, which is this beautiful mauve color. This is described by Too Faced as a matte soft mauve color. This product has 7 milliliters or 0 0.023 fluid ounces of product. So reading the description from Too Faced's website, they say that matte color gets a melt over. Our innovative formula glides over lips like a gloss but dries to an ultra matte opaque finish. Infused with a no sting lip plumper and filler, melted matte ensures color always looks rich, full, and kissable, never dry, shriveled, or cracked. Doe foot applicator comfortably coats lips in bursts of intense saturated matte color that lasts for hours. I also wanted to say I really like this packaging. This has like a slight fragrance to it. I also can tell like it's masking like a plasticky smell. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and then we'll go through the rating system. So I'm going to let this dry down a little bit. Okay, so now let me perform a kiss test a little bit wetter than I thought. The liquid lipstick is fully dried down on my lips and as you can see, very, very minimal transference. This feels really comfortable on the lips so far. I really like the way that it feels and the way that it looks. So for formula, I'm going to give it a three. It is very thick slash moussey like as far as the applicator, I'm going to rate that a 2. It is a standard applicator, nothing special about it. As far as the pigmentation goes, I'm going to give it a 3. It is a very pigmented color. As far as dryness, I'm going to give it a 3. It feels very comfortable. But I will be wearing this around for the duration of the day. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to come back, check in, and give you guys the final score. So it's the end of the night. And this is what it looks like. As far as wear time goes, I'm going to go ahead and give this a three. And as far as the appearance, I'm also going to give this a three. The liquid lipstick that I will be testing today is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. You can get these from pretty much anywhere. Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, Dillers, HSN, Smashbox.com. So many different places carry Smashbox. The color I have is called Out Loud and it's described as a deep orange. This liquid lipstick has 0.13 ounces of product. This liquid lipstick claims to wear for eight hours. Perfected on set in Smashbox's LA Photo Studio, always on liquid lipstick leaves lips with ultra lightweight but bold color. This liquid matte formula is infused with the lip smoothing Smashbox Primer Oil complex for suede soft to lip color in an array of gorgeous highly pigmented shades. The precision tip applicator lines and fills with one swipe of the no drop reservoir. While advanced polymer technology makes lip color stay put and look fresh and flawless for up to eight hours. For smudge proof, budge proof, and non feathering carefree wear. And it has a slight sweet smell to it. Almost kind of like cupcakey. So let me do a kiss test. Very minimal transfer. 
So for the formula of this liquid lipstick, I'm going to give it a three. It's very thick slash mousse like. For applicator, I'm going to give it a three. It does have a really nice specialty applicator. I didn't have to keep dipping in and out to get more products. For pigmentation, I'm also going to give these liquid lipsticks a three. They are very pigmented. I don't have to keep going over certain areas. And for dryness, I'm going to give this product a three. It is not dry whatsoever. It's very moisturizing. It feels great on the lips. It's rating for wear time is three. It wore well all day. I have not reapplied it, not touched up, and it's just lightly feathering in the middle. As far as appearance, I'm going to rate this on a three. I think it looks really good, especially for everything that I put it through today. So the overall score for this liquid lipstick is right here. The liquid lipstick that we're trying out today is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I have the color Lolita, which is described as a chestnut rose. There's 22 ounces of product or 6.6 .6 milliliters of product in this tube. Now in 28 shades, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick gives lips long lasting wear and high pigment color. It's creamy, color rich formula glides over lips like a gloss but dries to a true matte finish. It's infused with natural comfort enhancing ingredients including vitamin E and sunflower seed so you can flaunt lasting matte color that leaves lips feeling comfortable. Those are the claims of this liquid lipstick. Also, some people may have a Lolita that's a little bit browner than others. There's been different batches of Lolitas. There was a Lolita that came out a long time ago. There was a Lolita that was reformulated that was brown. This is a Lolita. The fact that Kat Von D draws the designs on her packaging is super cool to me. So that's one of my favorite things about the brand. It kind of smells plasticky to me, but it's not too bad because it's just a slight hint of that. So this is what the color looks like dried. It dried evenly. I did have to go over it a few times while it was still wet. Let's do the kiss test to see how much transfers. And we got nothing. So once it's dried, it's totally there. So as far as the formula goes, I'm going to give it a two. It's pretty thick. It's not watery and it's not super thick, but it's just right in between. As far as the applicator goes, I'm going to give it a two. It is a standard applicator, nothing special. As far as pigmentation goes, I'm going to give it a two. It's somewhat pigmented. I did have to go over it a few times to build it up. As far as dryness goes, I'm also going to give this a two. As far as wear time goes, I'm going to give it a three. I've had this on for six hours and it still looks pretty much like it did when I first applied it. As far as appearance goes, I'm going to give it a three because it still looks very good. The overall score for this liquid lipstick is here. The brand that we are focusing on today is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. You can grab this liquid lipstick at so many different places. Sephora, Macy's, Dillard's, Nordstrom, StilaCosmetics.com, Ulta. A lot of different places carry Stila. It's a very diverse brand. I have the color Patina. This is described as a dusty rose. There's 10 fluid ounces or three milliliters of products in this tube. From Stila's website, they say, the ultimate power palette. This creamy matte full coverage lip color delivers bold, long lasting color and stays in place for up to six hours of continuous wear. The texture is weightless on lips and comfortable. The color rich formula will not bleed or transfer. Enriched with vitamin E and avocado oil, stay all day liquid lipstick softens the lips so they look and feel beautiful. This has like a different kind of smell. It smells sweet, but it also has like this smell I can't put my finger on. It does not smell bad, but it definitely has some type of fragrance. So here's what it looks like still wet. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. The liquid lipstick dries a little bit darker than it looks when you first apply it. So let me go ahead and do the kiss test. So you see I have nothing on the back of my hand. I got nothing. There is no residue that comes off. It's totally dry. So as far as the formula goes, I'm going to give this a two. It is somewhat thick. It's a pretty creamy formula. It's like right in the middle between almost being thin and almost being thick. As far as the applicator goes, I'm going to give it a two. It's a standard applicator. Even though it's a little bit longer, it still is just average. As far as pigmentation goes, I'm going to give this a three. These liquid lipsticks are very pigmented. As far as the dryness goes, I'm going to give these a three. These are pretty comfortable on the lips. So I'm going to wear this around 
down for the day and I'll come back check in and let you guys know how this wears please excuse my makeup I've literally blown my nose like 40 11 times it still looks relatively decent so I'm going to give it a rating of three for wear time as far as the appearance I am also going to rate this a three it still looks pretty good so the overall score for this liquid lipstick is here the liquid lipstick that we're talking about today are the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colors. The color that I have is Simply Smoked and it is described as a brown taupe. The description on MAC's website says that for those who prefer timeless glamour to all out flash, MAC reigns supreme. MAC introduces a twist on this classic texture with robustly saturated shades of retro matte liquid lip color. Whichever shade you choose, all promise one thing, a splash of color in a liquid suede finish that is impossible to forget. So these are long wearing, they last eight hours. The color wears evenly and smoothly for eight hours, provides stay true color eight hours, and is non feathering and non bleeding. There is five milliliters of product or 0.17 fluid ounces of product. It smells like cupcakes. It doesn't smell exactly like Max lipsticks, but it does have a hint of vanilla. But if you're interested in seeing all of the colors in this collection, I do have two separate swatch videos, one with the initial launch of these, and then I have the updated one where they expanded all the colors. I think it's worth noting as well that the original launch with the retro matte lip colors don't feel the same way as the newer ones. And here's a kiss test, so nothing. As far as the formula goes, I'm going to rate it a three. It is very thick slash mousse-like. For the applicator, I'm going to give it a three. It does have a specialty applicator. It gets the perfect amount of products and it is pointed. That way you can do the detailed work. Pigmentation is a three. These are extremely pigmented. I don't have to go back over any areas after it's dry. And as far as dryness, I'm going to give it a three. It feels very comfortable and great on the lips. I barely feel it. So I'll be wearing this around today and I will check back in and let you guys know what I think. I've had this on all day and I think it has worn great. It's slightly faded away, but that's to be expected with a liquid lipstick. So my score for wear time is a three. So the overall score for this liquid lipstick is here. The liquid lipstick that we will be trying today is the Marc Jacobs Lemark Liquid Lip Cream. I got this from Sephora or you can also get this from MarcJacobsBeauty.com. I have the color Hot Cocoa and this is described as a cinnamon cocoa. There's 3.5 milliliters of product in here or 0.118 fluid ounces. The description on Sephora's website says that this is a hydrating eight hour wear, liquid lipstick in a range of bold full coverage nudes. Lasting wear meets hydration for a completely new liquid lipstick sensation with Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. Enjoy the indulgent creaminess of this lipstick now available in a luxurious liquid formula that glides onto lips so that they stay looking plump and full all day long. Formulated with Brazilian cupuaçu butter and collagen, the rich creamy texture always feels cushiony and lips never appear lined or cracked. Featuring a range of bold nudes and a delicate vanilla scent, each stroke of the velvety doe foot applicator delivers unexpected full nude coverage with a subtle satin sheen. There is a subtle vanilla scent. Let's go ahead and put this baby on. So I dipped in once. like I need more so I'm dipping in once more I've let it quote unquote dry down it's not really dry at all but just to show you I'm still going to do the kiss test so there's nothing here you see it transfers quite a bit so I'm going to go ahead and do the rating system. So as far as the formula goes, I'm going to give this a three. It is a very thick mousse-like formula. It has the same consistency as a thicker lip gloss. As far as the applicator goes, I'm going to give it a two. It is a standard applicator, doe foot, nothing special. As far as the pigmentation goes, I'm going to give it a two. It is somewhat pigmented. I did have to dip back into my products three times. As far as dryness goes, I'm going to give it a three. It's not dry at all. It feels very moisturizing. 
very comfortable on the lip. Feels like more so of a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. I'm gonna continue wearing this around and I'll check back in. So I've had this on for quite some time now and I'm ready to do the ending rating system. As far as wear time goes, I'm going to give it a three. I've had this on for five to six hours and it still looks pretty good. And as far as appearance goes, I'm also going to give it a three. So the overall score for this liquid lipstick is here. Today we are trying out the Kylie Cosmetic Liquid Lipsticks. So these are made by none other than Kylie Jenner and you can get these from KylieCosmetics.com exclusively. The shade that I have is Love Bite. This product contains 0.11 ounces or 3.25 milliliters of product. Per Kylie Cosmetics website, it says that the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit is your secret weapon to create the perfect Kylie lip. Each lip kit comes with a matte liquid lipstick and matching lip liner. Her kits are now sold individually, so if you want us to just get the liquid lipstick, it is $17. It says, the matte liquid lipstick has high intensity pigment for an instant bold matte lip. The extremely long wearing lipstick contains moisturizing ingredients for a comfortable emollient and silky feel that does not dry your lips out. So there's no specific time for how long it's supposed to last. It has a really sweet smell, almost like cupcakes. So I've gotten it on two dips. I've let it dry down a few minutes and it is completely matte. So now I'm going to do the kiss test. Nothing. Let's do the rating system. As far as the formula, I'm going to rate it a three. It is very creamy, it is very mousse-like, it feels very moisturizing on the lips, but yet it dries down matte. As far as the applicator, I'm going to rate it a two. It is a standard doe foot applicator. For pigmentation, I'm going to rate it a three. As far as dryness, I'm going to rate it a three. It feels very comfortable on the lips. So as per usual, I'm going to wear it around and I'll come back and let you guys know the final score. So I've had this liquid lipstick on all day. So as far as the wear time, I'm going to rate it a three. It has worn exceptionally well for five to six hours. So the overall score for this liquid lipstick is here. The brand that we'll be talking about today is the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet. You can get this from a number of high-end retailers, Nordstrom, Sephora, Neiman Marcus, to name a few. This is the packaging, so let's take it out. The shade that I have is Fawn or 05. It is described as a nude rose brown. There is 0.2 ounces of product in here or 6 milliliters. From Sephora's website it says that this is a statement making matte cream lip color with a comforting whipped texture. Liquid Lip Velvet is developed with an innovative formula that merges rich pigment, smooth application, and a whipped creamy texture for a bold velvet finish that lasts for up to 8 hours. The comfortable non-drying formula keeps your lips supple and moisturized ensuring that the color does not dry, crack, or fade. This doesn't really have a big smell to it. So let's go ahead and apply. Feels really nice on the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and do a kiss test. It does transfer a whole lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rating system. As far as the formula goes, I'm going to give it a three. It is very thick slash mousse-like. As far as the applicator, I'm going to give it a two. It's a standard doe foot applicator. Pigmentation, I'm going to give it a three. It's very pigmented. I didn't have to keep double dipping in. One dip applied my whole lip color. And as far as dryness, I'm going to give it a three. It feels very moisturizing on the lips, almost like a cushion. I'll wear it throughout the day and come back and give you the final rating. So I've had this on for hours. I've eaten steak, potatoes, drink, bread and butter, talked, and it's gone. Pretty much no, the color is not there. It definitely needed to be reapplied around hour four, and right now I'm on hour six and a half. As far as the wear time, I'm going to rate this a two. It does wear well within the two to five hour time frame. And then as far as the appearance goes, I'm going to rate it a one. Here's the final look. And here's the final score for this liquid lipstick. 
liquid lipstick brand that we will be trying today is Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte Lip Color. You can get these from either Sephora or MakeupForever.com. I have the color 107, which is described as a neutral beige. There is 2.5 milliliters of product in here or 0.08 fluid ounces of product. Per the description on Sephora's website, it says that this is an ultra matte liquid lipstick with insane color payoff and crazy long wear. Finally, a comfortable liquid lipstick with intense color and an ultra matte finish. With concentrated pigments, Artist Liquid Matte provides truly matte, saturated color payoff with a lightweight feel. Its unique formula boasts beeswax for long lasting wear and avocado oil for soft, nourished lips. It's an ultra matte liquid lipstick with high color payoff and 20 hour comfortable wear. Its precise applicator coats and defines every peak and valley of your lips to perfection. Of the color selection of this formula there are only neutral light colors or like variations of neutral so like a mauve it has like a very faint sweet smell kind of like cupcakes With one pump, I was able to do both my top and bottom lips. I've let it dry down quite a bit. I've responded to some comments and now I'm back. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the kiss test. There's nothing on the back of my hand. Mwah. And there was no transfer. So now let's do the rating test. As far as the formula goes, I'm going to give it a two. It is somewhat thick and creamy. It is not mousse-like, like very thick, and it also isn't thin. As far as the applicator, I'm also going to rate it a two. It's a standard doe foot applicator. The only thing I want to know is that the funnel where the product is normally, you know, sucked down back in there, I feel like it's not strong enough. So there's so much product here. As far as the pigmentation, I'm going to rate it a three. My color is very pigmented. I was able to get a nice opaque application. And as far as dryness, I'm going to rate it a two. It's somewhat dry on the lips, but it's not too bad. I'll wear it around and come back and give you guys the final score. It's time to do the final judging system. So as far as wear time goes, I'm going to give this a two. Around the three hour mark, it pretty much started going away in the center of my lips. And as far as the appearance, I'm going to give it a one. It's definitely very, very faded off of my lips. So overall, the rating for this liquid lipstick is here. The brand that we're trying today is Jouer, and this is the Long Wear Lip Cream Liquid Lipstick. You can grab this from a lot of different places. I got mine from Nordstrom. You can get it from their website, Beautylish, Derm Store, and they also have codes. So if you get it from their website, they're likely to have a 10 to 20% off code. The shade that I have is Noisette. It is described as a matte warm chocolate brown. There is six milliliters of product or 0.21 fluid ounces. Per their website, it says that this weightless long wear liquid lipstick offers full coverage color with a soft touch finish that glides on smoothly and lasts all day. The packaging of this liquid lipstick is pretty different. It's in like a little small container. It smells like cake. It's like a mixture of the Kylie liquid lipstick and MAC lipsticks. It's dry pretty quickly, especially in comparison to the other liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the kiss test. There's pretty much no transfer. As far as the formula goes, I'm going to rate it a two. It is somewhat thick and creamy feeling. As far as the applicator goes, it's a two standard doe foot applicator. As far as pigmentation goes, I'm going to give this a three. I feel like it's pretty pigmented. As far as dryness goes, I'm going to rate it a two. It is somewhat dry. I'm gonna wear it around all day and I'll check in later. So as far as the wear time, I'm going to go ahead and rate it at two. But as far as the appearance, because my lips have been like this for so long, I'm gonna rate it a one. The overall rating for this liquid lipstick is here. The liquid lipstick that we're going to be talking about today is the Hourglass Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipstick. You can get this from a lot of different places, namely Sephora, Nordstrom, and Neiman Marcus. The shade I have is Icon. 
and it is a classic true red. There is 0.10 ounces or 3 milliliters of product in this tube. The description on Sephora says that this is a richly pigmented, silky smooth matte lip color that delivers 14 hours of continuous wear without smudging or dryness. It also says get a bold red lip with this lasting vivid shade from Hourglass. The proprietary blend of advanced polymers in this liquid lipstick deliver intense vibrant color with exceptional longevity. Skin conditioning emollients, antioxidant fruit extracts, sealy fruit, goji berry, and vitamins A, C, and E help to protect the lips throughout the day. This kind of smells like nothing, almost a very faint hint of plastic. So let's go ahead and apply. That apply very beautifully. There is a little bit of transfer as far as the formula goes. I'm going to rate it a three. It feels very good, very moisturizing. As far as the applicator goes, I'm going to rate it a three. It does feel very specialized. It's tapered. As far as pigmentation, I'm going to give it a three. As far as the dryness, I'm going to give it a three. It feels very comfortable. All right, dolls, so I'm going to wear this around for the rest of the day and I'll be back to check in and give you guys the final score for this liquid lipstick. I've had this liquid lipstick on for about six or seven hours now and it has slightly faded away, but I'm ready to do the final check-in for you guys. So as far as wear time, I'm going to give it a three. It has worn away evenly, which I think that that's a pretty unique facet when looking at the other liquid lipsticks that I've done. None of them have done that. They all kind of wear away in patches. As far as the appearance, I'm also going to rate it a 3. I think that this still looks really good. So this is the overall score for this liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick that we're going to be trying today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. You can get these at so many different places. Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. Like it's a lot, I will link everywhere down below. The shade I have is Seraphine and this is described as a deep blue red. There is 3.2 grams of product or 0.11 ounces of product in this tube. The description from Anastasia's website says that this is a long lasting full coverage matte lipstick in liquid form. Liquid Lipstick's ultra saturated liquid formula delivers an intense amount of matte pigment in a single swipe. Just one application leaves lips with smear resistant coverage that stays put for hours. This long lasting formula is a must have for every busy woman on the go. It doesn't have a fragrance to it. It almost kind of smells like plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. So it dried a little bit because my hand was shaking. I couldn't get a steady application. Like my nerves bad, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the kiss test, see what transfers. We do have a little bit of transferring of products. However, I still have a really opaque application and the color is still very full. Now let's do the rating system. So as far as the formula, I'm going to rate it a three. It is very thick and moussey like As far as the applicator, I'm still going to give it a rating of a two. Even though it's an extended doe foot, it's still pretty much just a doe foot applicator. As far as the pigmentation, I'm going to rate it a three. This was very pigmented. I didn't have to keep dipping into my product. As far as dryness, I'm going to give it a two. It is somewhat dry, but it's not uncomfortable at all. But I can tell that it has sucked a little bit of moisture out of my lips to get the matteness that I have. So I'm going to wear this around all day and then I'll check in tonight to let you guys know what the final rating is. As far as the wear time goes, I'm going to rate this a two. It wore about four hours before it started totally fading on my lip. As far as the appearance for this liquid lipstick, I'm going to give it a one. It is very faded. So the overall score for this liquid lipstick is here. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. I know that this is a long video. I enjoy making videos like this. It takes me a little bit longer, but it's so rewarding to get it done. I'm so excited that I'm finally able to share this with you guys. Let me know what your favorite liquid lipsticks are in general. 
liquid lipsticks are here to stay everybody thought they were a trend but no if you like videos like this then give this video a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up for all the work that went into it and make sure you subscribe before you leave that way you see more videos like this from me so i will talk to you guys very very soon smooches bye